This video is not a real live episode and just and meant for people on YouTube to learn how to use retro art, such as uranium or simply Naxos, to name a few. So step one, you're gonna want to plug your, your controller in. This program works very very well with Xbox One controllers, and I think it should work just as well with Xbox 360 controllers if you want to fly around. A uh, USB is fine. Once again, this is not a real episode. Please do not tune in. Not that you can change you. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna see all this, this this stuff. You can it also works with using your mouse. You don't need to use your mouse. So I uh, guess the left up, right down, A means yes. Load core. And read away, you're gonna have nothing in here. So you're gonna want to go down to download a core. So let's say you want something to work Kirby and the Crystal Shards for 64. You'd want to go look for something called Dolphin in here. Do believe I'm gonna go check what it is actually. Um, and actually, oh, they have a really good Moopin Plus. Moopin Plus 64 on here. That you're gonna find the core called Loop Moopin Plus. Um, it's alphabetical order, so that should help out. Um, Nintendo, Nintendo. Oh, that that's nice too. So you got you got these things. If they say in 64, you're gonna want to grab the first one. I don't know which one I have. I'm sure, they they both work the same. So you just grab it, whatever. It extracts it, loads it instantly. So then, when you open this back up, you'll have it available in here now. So now you just want to click that, load core, load content. You're gonna want to put it not. If you have it in downloads, it's gonna have a really really tough time in finding folders. So I I'd advise to either put it right on your C drive and just put a folder in here called ROMs or something illegal. I just put it in 2020 rando. Um, it's gonna be in my W drive, so that's like another internal hard drive I have. And then you're gonna want to go through here, and if you have it, so let's say Kirby and the Crystal Shards, you're gonna want to look for that bad boy in here. I, I just put her in here a little while ago. It should should be floating around. There you go, Kirby and the Crystal Shards USA. You're gonna want to go down to the load archive, A button, um, current core, yes. And then it'll take a couple seconds. Hopefully, it gets two or three. Um, if you're on a different kind of computer, it might take ten or twenty seconds. Um, so that first screen didn't really work, actually. Oh gosh, what the? Hmm, seems a little monkey ass. This did not load correctly at all. I I did not test this. Oh my god, this looks terrible. <laughs> Hopefully, this does not happen. This game might not actually work. Uh, what happened to the site? I don't know. Okay, so then we're gonna try to load up RetroArc for, let's say, Homie wants to play a Super Nintendo game. You load core, you'd want to download the core, look for the core that says, which core do I use? It'll say Nintendo first and SNES slash Famicom. Famicom is just Japan's version of Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And then you're gonna want to look for your Super Nintendo game that you're real excited to play. Let's say you're real excited to play Super Mario All-Stars. So you go through there, you press the A button, load archive. But yeah, so the site, it seems like every time you download a few things, you'll get a single ad. And you just click the X button to take away the ad. So as long as you're using the Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller, it'll work immediately. You won't have to, like, it'll be mapped perfectly. Um, usually the, the sticks won't work if you're playing a game without stick support. I mean, that's fine. And then you just hit the A button, or whatever, start, start, what a classic, what a time to be alive, start button start. Why would you hit the A button to start? That's just stupid. And then you're, you're in the game zone. So this game, you can see everything's loading in properly. Um, Kirby and the Crystal Charts for 64, that was perhaps the worst example ever. Maybe it does not work, maybe it does not support. It might be one of those things that are only, um, that you might need a WAD file and then they don't support them, like Donkey Kong Country, like Donkey Kong 64, or Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. But see, it's it's working, you can see the buttons in the top left of like what I'm pressing, everything is human. And so this is not mapped at all, this is just me plugging in a controller and it assuming it knows where I should put the buttons. And so far, I'm, I'm having a great time. Monty Moles no longer having a great time. But this is a little tutorial. We're gonna raid Urania. This is how you get RetroArch to work. Alright, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. It'll be a short little video. 
thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I'll be doing a legitimate video later tonight. Cheers, homies.